Good evening, I'm Arthur. Um, and uh, today I'm going to practice my English through telling a, sh a short story about the long journey of uh, myself and uh, uh, former my teacher, but now it's my friend and uh, a co-worker. Um, well, it's all uh, started the story in the, years in, in the year 2010 when I was a graduate or about to graduate from the Academy of Art in, from uh, Jerusalem, Bezalel. And uh, I went and met with the biggest experts in Israel um, in the field of uh, earthquake. And uh, this is a picture from uh, the big earthquake from, from uh, 2010 in Haiti. And uh, this is uh, the IDF, it's the Israeli army unit called the Home Front Defense. And they have a special unit there that uh, helps uh, in rescue missions all over the world and in Israel. And uh, the moment they heard that there is an earthquake, they went there and rescued a lot of uh, people, uh, survivors. And uh, I met with a lot of the members of this group in Israel and they showed me a lot of pictures. You can see the, the big difficulty in uh, rescuing inside the building after the building collapsed. And you can hear the people uh, like trapped inside. It's really, really difficult to get to them, even if they survive. And they showed me all the aspects of the problems and I spent hour, hours and hours talking to them. And then they showed me one picture. This is the local school in Haiti. And uh, the school completely collapsed and I saw one picture of a class where uh, I think they said 12, 12 children died there. And there was a crash desk with the, <coughs> with the pupil underneath it. And it really, really, this picture sh shocked me. I was uh, on my way home and I thought to myself, why are the furniture are so weak? Especially when all over the world, people, like children instructed to go underneath the table when there is an earthquake. Even here in the, uh, in the States and everywhere, they say hide underneath, uh, underneath the table. And the truth is that the table is a death trap. There is no chance to survive underneath the table. So, I went back to school and uh, started to working on my own uh, desk. I thought, okay, now I'm gonna make a str strong desk that uh, can help children. And as soon as I started working, I engaged really a lot of uh, diff engineering and some design difficulties. And my teacher, Ido, said to me, okay, you have to start really testing the tables, okay? We don't have an earthquake like in the closest hour. We need to simulate things and not just working on some sketches and I really quickly started uh, building a lot of models and tables and then testing them uh, with uh, my friends. You can see <laughs> just, and I really, after like two, three months, came up with uh, some uh, system that uh, what I was thinking about my idea was uh, instead of building a, a, a metal cage, something like the one inch thick, it would be really, really strong, but will cost a lot and will be really, really heavy and not uh, cost efficient. I will think like uh, the person that talked before me, like in a car. Um, the car is made out of really, really thin uh, metal. And still, when we crash the car in 60 miles an hour, we can survive it. Why? Because there is a, a energy management system inside the car that deflects the energy of the crash. The same way I designed my table, not to be super strong, but be light and absorb the energy through uh, crash zones and deflect it outside the table. And I built this model and then I tested it really, really quickly with uh, some uh, cheap uh, equipment that I got from uh, <laughs> uh, And then when the dust settled, I saw the doll underneath alive. <laughs> and, and then I, I returned with the pictures uh, to Ido and I said, I think we got something here and then it's uh, like, uh, it was uh, maybe two weeks before the deadline and I had to present something. I made some design to the structure and this is, was my, my final work. I presented it at school and it was really, really good. And uh, then uh, I was approached by 
the school itself and they told me, okay, we think you're really onto something. Let's uh, start a uh, collaboration. Me, the teacher, and the school, we are all together, uh, became like a small company called Bezalel R&D Company. And we started to try to patent this uh, table and develop it and we've been working on it since. Um, and maybe after two or three weeks uh, that I finished my school, uh, there was a report on the national television in Israel about the table. And the day after I got a phone, one girl was talking to me and said, listen, you don't know me, but my father got the biggest uh, furniture uh, factory in Israel and you should come and visit him. And we went there, talked to him, and he was so interested in the, in the idea, and we started developing it. And uh, this is a picture from the factory uh, not so long ago, about a year ago. We are already producing the tables, and recently we got the, uh, oh, okay, this is, we got uh, many opportunities uh, to sell this table and everybody said, okay, you need to test this table, not just like uh, I did in the school, uh, but some really real uh, testimonies. So we went to Padova University in Italy and conducted several tests there, like uh, really serious tests uh, for a bunch of, the, like we sent to them a few containers of the tables and we got the, uh, a real proof that our uh, idea is working. You can see that the day we arrived there, we just entered and they were already conducting some experiment. We saw one ton uh, block. This was like our top uh, weight. And it's, it's, uh, we stood this uh, amount of weight. Uh, this is a uh, window with all the broken, uh, some broken more or less tables. Uh, we got uh, now a patent uh, approved in uh, 31 countries uh, around the world. And uh, this is a school in uh, Sderot. Uh, if you know the city of Sderot, it's uh, been uh, bombarded heavily through the last years with the rockets. And uh, we donated a few uh, classrooms there so the children already using uh, this table not in the exact purpose that we intended, but uh, it's also something. And this is the, the final table that it's now in the MoMA collection uh, also. And uh, we're working on uh, newer versions of the table. And, I'll, and at the end, I'll show you a small movie, okay? <laughs>
And another important thing, that what I learned from the expert, is that uh, even if I save the lives of the children, how fast the rescue team can reach them. So the tables, when they're inside the classroom, create uh, rescue tunnels when they're in a line. So when they breach one wall of the classroom, then they can extract really quickly all the children from there. And it's also an important thing.